What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of 10K on the Bay, my journey to 10,000 live listings. Today, I am honored to do another show called Reseller Smackdown, where we review about 20 different eBay stores. And we have Jesse from Thrift School. Jesse, why don't you introduce yourself? And guys, by the way, his link is in the description below. Everyone, please subscribe if you haven't already. All right, what's going on, everybody? My name is Jesse from Thrift School, the YouTube channel. You can look me up there. I also have an Instagram called Thrift School as well. I post a lot on there. I've been growing that following, which is awesome. I just like posting on Instagram a lot. But I do post YouTube videos pretty much daily. I sell on Amazon. I sell on eBay. I don't really do local, but I pick up a lot of things local. And um, yeah, that, that's about it. I'm mostly an Amazon guy, but I do eBay and I can easily critique a store. No issue with that. Awesome. And I think it's important, guys, to realize sometimes your ideal eBay store, which is the goal of my channel, is to help you build your ideal your ideal eBay store. It might be a hundred items. It might be only things you can't sell on Amazon. It might be only things that you don't use anymore. It doesn't have to be, you know, your main focus. Lots of people use eBay basically just for rejects and everything else goes to Amazon. What do you think, Jesse? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, I started off with eBay in the very beginning and then I completely changed and did all Amazon. That's all I did for about a year, maybe a little bit longer than a year. And then I started slowly getting back into eBay with all the restrictions that Amazon's doing and things like that. So um, Amazon restricts something, I can't sell it anymore, they send it back to me, I just sell it over on eBay. And then I started picking up clothing and it just spiraled out of control. Awesome. Yep. So today we're going to review about 20 stores. If we didn't get to your store this week, please just email me at 10k on the bay at gmail.com and we'll get into it. But I'm going to share my screen now and we'll get into reviewing. We also have the live chat up. We'll take questions as we go. Um, hopefully you guys can see my screen. Um, let me just make sure. Got to show off the Apple shoes. Ooh. That's right. So today we're actually going to start by reviewing our own stores. Um, you guys know I, I have multiple stores. I share the low key husky on YouTube. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this store. Uh, let's get your feedback first, and let me know if you want to click on anything to look at it in more detail. Um, these shoes end tomorrow, guys. If you guys want to watch them, you guys should. There's about twenty three hundred watchers on it, so I really don't know what's going to happen with these things. That's crazy. Twenty three hundred. Uh, twenty three hundred watchers, but let's look at um, other items. Do you sort by list or grid? I sort by list. You Not sort by, by list. Okay. Yeah. Um, as, as I'm looking at yours, I notice a lot of high-priced items in the very beginning. Do you sort it so they start off higher like that? Is there a way to do that? Or do yeah, they you can actually default your store to sort high to low. Okay. Well, um, I do notice you have a $9.99 than a $1.99. Is there a reason why uh, you have the cheaper jeans up there with more expensive things or not? That's a good question. Um, no. It's just, it's just randomly populating. Okay. Okay, yeah, so that is all right. Um, I should pick probably, guys, if, if in your store, you can pick four um, of your best items to be featured. Mm -hmm. um, I, th these are just assigned randomly, but you guys can um, definitely do that. I've, I'm experimenting with the full shirt and also just a profile picture for clothing. I see that big stack of clothing in the background for you. Um, do you have a, a preferred way of displaying a shirt? I actually do it two different ways, and um, I do either folded or I do hanging on a mannequin. Folded or hanging on a mannequin. So when you do folded, is it the sleeve and the pocket? Which picture is it? Is it this picture? No. Uh, you'll see uh, when we check out my oh, store. That's, that's true. We're actually going to check out your store. Yeah. Um, another thing I want to point out, today we're going to do a little bit of keyword um, talking because I haven't done that in the previous stores, and I want to mention my old system – I included my item location as the second word because I copied um, BHFO, but I, I've switched to now not having my location at all in here, and it's in the, the custom SKU. Um, but mm -hmm. um, do you? How do you locate your items? Where do you put the location? Well, I don't actually have so many pieces of clothing listed, so I actually just have bins over here, and they're mm -hmm. more or less organized by brand and style so i have a lot of tommy bahamas so i have two bins specified for tommy bahamas then i have one for long sleeves one for short sleeves one for you know ll bean and things like that and i kind of just know where they are i need to definitely upgrade that system because it takes a little while to get to things okay 
Sounds good. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at your store. Do you want to give us an idea of, of maybe your theme or what you what, you, what your goal is? Yeah, um, basically I just started off by throwing up random stuff. So you see these Halo 5 bags right here in the beginning. I found those in a dumpster. I went dumpster diving at GameStop and there was a whole stack of them. And they were a horrible find. I mean, I've sold one of them. That's why the price is so low. Uh, so two. Or two actually, it says I sold two. Um, but you know, that's free money, found it in a dumpster. Basically, eBay for me started off as just little things around the house, so I never really built it. I, I, you have a whole logo. You have the banner. I don't have any of that. I actually do free shipping on every single one of my items. I try to make it as white as I can in the background. You'll notice some of my older photos aren't white like that, but mm -hmm. I, I try the best I can with this little space. I have this little table. You can see it in that jean picture, the area pair of jeans. I take all my photos on this little table or the white wall right behind it. Let's take a look at this mannequin picture. Yeah. Is, this a, is this a recent one for? Uh, it's recent enough, yeah. I'd say it's a couple months ago. I like it. Yeah, we, in the previous episodes, we've, we've shown how non-bright the, um, the pictures can be. You also do the back of the garment. Is that something pretty common for you? Yeah, I do uh, front, back, um, collar, so you can see the... Um, the detail? Go in the, yeah, that right there. And um, sometimes I'll, you know, zoom in on the buttons or on like a little embellishment that's on the shirt if it's something that has that. Okay. So here in the title, do you purposely do the, the brand all in caps? No. I Everything I do is sell similars because I go as fast as I can. All these photos are on my phone. Everything is on my phone. So I look up a, a sell similar. I'll type in Hickey Freeman, and this was a brown blue plaid. So I'll basically just type in Hickey Freeman brown blue plaid. And I'll almost keep most of the same title and then just throw in a few extra keywords that apply to my item. I just go as fast as I can. Is this, do you list on a computer or your phone? My phone. Everything's through my phone. Okay. Because All the photos, everything. And I know you've probably used this tool before, but um, I basically draft on my phone. And then since if it's all clothing or something, what I'll do is um, at the very end, I add the same shipping return and um, the, those policies at the bottom of the mobile app and I'll go in the convert case and this is your title here and mm -hmm. I'll just click capitalize case and it will remove all the um, all caps that, and I'll copy and paste this back in. That's amazing honestly that's uh, a lot faster than but yeah. you have to do this through a browser no matter what right? I, yeah I don't know how to do that on mobile but it's something that makes it really fast because I do think all caps is searchable less. Yeah, and also, I don't think it looks that nice, to be honest. I, I critique that 100%. I don't even like that. I just left it there because I, I just try to bang them out as fast as I can, which isn't always the best method, but, you know. But getting it up there is the best method. You, got, mm -hmm. you have to get it on there. Okay, so let's see. You've got clothing. You've got product photography. I mean, I mean uh, hard goods. Mm-hmm. Let's so that, that photo of the DC with the sleeve showing, that's actually not how I fold my shirts. I tried that style out for a little bit. Didn't right. really like it. Um, you might see while you scroll down an actual folded picture of a shirt um, that I experimented with. So all these seem like they're all new. Um, got a few I like hats. your hat photography. It's nice. Let's see. Yeah, so this, this is all new, actually. This is all stuff I've listed within the past, I don't know, maybe – month or so actually that Hickey Freeman for some reason wasn't but all of this is within the past month does this qualify as um, media mail yes it does okay and I have it as media mail as my default shipping on all those gotcha um, so you do sell a few books CDs DVDs this is what you're talking about for folded yeah that's folded that picture is not so good because it's a yellow shirt on a white background and it screws with my phone camera and it messes up the colors and everything, so that's not a great uh, indicator. That that purple one down below is probably a little bit better, the Peter Millar. Definitely. So yeah. you're in Connecticut, and you're getting a lot of this stuff from thrift stores or garage sales, or where are you sourcing? Yeah, almost ninety percent thrift stores. Okay. Yeah, we. Are, I mean, I find a lot of good brands up here. I I find Peter Millar almost every single time I go out. I find Vineyard Vines, Patagonia, almost every single time I go to the store. That's amazing. It is here as well, but they price them between fifteen and twenty dollars pre-owned. 
they've been really raising tough. prices here. I find them for between eight and ten dollars now, but I'll still pick up Peter Millar and Vineyard Vines for eight to ten bucks all day. That's right. Still worth it. Yeah. All right. Cool. So let's go on to the next. And you can see here, so many people put the the brand in all caps. Yeah. I do, I do think that hurts search ranking a little bit versus one that's not. But I think that's that also might be uh, urban myth. I don't know. Well, to find out. You can see the Nat Nast. How I tried to show. I did a. I was doing that for a little while where I the showed gallery. The yeah. Logo, the design. But you know, I've had this shirt listed for probably four to six months, and it just hasn't moved. A lot mm. of this clothing. Do you not offer best offer? I was thinking about that today while I was in my car driving. I was thinking about throwing best offer up on every single one of my listings just to get stuff to move. Fair enough. Um, all right, your store looks good. Um, is there any specific um, goal or theme as a mostly as a mainly Amazon seller? Do you just want to maintain, or how do you look at your eBay business? So originally I wanted 300 listings. So I, I try never to go below 300 listings. That was kind okay. of my goal. Mm -hmm. uh, Amazon, I have, you know, a thousand. And then when Christmas comes in, that thousand could jump to two or 3000. Mm -hmm. um, so I focus a lot on sending in those Amazon shipments. That's why when I work on eBay, I just try to list as fast as I possibly can. And um, be because Amazon is so much quicker for me. So I, I've gotten That's so... Right how quick it is to list there that I try to speed through my eBay listings. So in reality, I would like to grow it a little bit, maybe 500 listings, um, but who knows? It could jump to another thousand. It's I'm a solo gig over here. I do everything myself, zero help. So it's however much I can handle. Okay, fair enough. So now we have um, Stephanie's Thrifty Threads. Nice. Look at the store, lots of feedback. I like the wood grain, that's just like you. I like the wood grain. Uh, light wood grain looks nice. I actually love when there's space around it. It's kind of tough when, if you do it on the floor like me, but on a table or a backdrop or of these, it, it's. I like the space around it. It's not super crowded. Scavenger life. Scavenger life. That's right. They add uh, space around it on the wooden floor. I notice. Mm -hmm. We're actually going to review their store today. Really? Okay. Cool. Um, so Maybe we have. I haven't been to their store in months. Uh, mannequin, flat lay, um, mm -hmm. lots and lots of clothing. Yep. You can see here we have some auctions. So a mix. I actually did an experiment on my channel where I put my entire store on auction mode and I kept all of the prices the exact same. So whatever I had it listed for, I just threw it up for auction and I actually sold a huge chunk of things at the price that I would have normally gotten by it now. It worked out really well. Awesome. Yeah, I think I think auctions definitely spur the um, the algorithm somehow, and definitely you'll find times where you auction something off and it sells more than your fixed price. Yeah, uh, a lot of times. A lot of times. That's true. So I think it's a good idea to mix it up with both. Um, some of the pictures are a little off center, which is unusual because some of them are really. Maybe it's just the evolution. These That's are more in the be beginning. Yeah, because even the background's different. They were they were trying on this fuzzy uh, looks like a fuzzy rug probably trying to watch Nicole right. State videos and trying right. to mimic her. This is very Nicole State right here, or yeah. was, but a little darker. Yeah, that definitely seems like something that they were probably trying because you can see the wood grain right behind it. Mm -hmm. And we have um, we have standard shipping, first class, fourteen day return policy. What have you decided to do for returns? Uh, yeah, I have, I have 14 day. I might actually have 30 day now. Um, I either have 14 or 30 day, but yeah, I have returns. I just switched to 60 days. Really? It I seems to be. Don't have no, that. I mean, no matter what, the uh, the buyer can return whenever they want, so it doesn't really matter. It's true. That is true. Um, this stuff looks good. And guys, look, as I just went into the store, you can see that if it's free shipping, it'll show free shipping. But if it's not free shipping, it doesn't indicate what the shipping is at all. I think this is important for you guys to realize if you're debating free shipping or not, when these two search rankings pop up and you're comparing them, people who are shopping at home do not see the shipping cost sometimes. So they're going to often click on the one that has the lower initial price. That's why I charge shipping because I think this looks cheaper. Um, seven really? plus seven ninety nine dollars shipping. But I'm the complete opposite. I, for some reason on my computer, it actually shows me shipping, or maybe that's on mobile. It shows me the shipping cost. But I personally don't like seeing that because it 
doesn't let me want I don't want to click through because I know it's not free shipping so I will actually look at the free shipping I mean I, I sort everything by lowest price plus shipping no matter what so this, it doesn't, is be, this, is, this is best match so if you sort um, just lowest like including shipping it will pop up and that's, that's right this is how I shop lowest total Same. so like if I have two of them and this one's lower it doesn't really matter how it's set up I'll see but uh, yeah. obviously free shipping is more convenient for your customer. But guys, total price is also important. Just know that best match is sometimes the default. Okay, let's go to the next store. This is EJM Vintage. I like and it already. I'm going to zoom up real quick on this tag because it looks like this person uses this tag maybe as a uh, this hang tag on their own items. If you were to do a barcode system, which I've seen some eBayers do, I actually do not how to do that my do not know how to do that myself, but that would be cool to have an actual barcode system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know uh, Prof Sales did a video on that. He met up with someone that had a barcode system. Mm -hmm. Really interesting. I would love to. That would speed things up so much. Mm -hmm. What do you think of these photos so far? I, I really like them. Me too. I love this new kids on the block jacket. Look at this yeah, thing. It's awesome. It's so awesome. I love the date. The close up on the detail. Um, that's a good photo they're all good photos it's great photos um, top rated plus looks nice with the free shipping mm -hmm. this is a really nice store um, consistent throughout which is also relatively rare um, they have it looks like they did this picture maybe because of the flip cuff yeah what do you think yeah definitely I've done that with flip cuffs before uh, these are also called contrast cuffs for people who don't sell a lot of men's clothing do you use contrast or flip in the title, or do you? I really use like how um, it's it's whiter and brighter right around the shirt, and it kind of uh, you get the the darkness around the corners. It really shows emphasis on the shirt. I like that. Yep. So we have uh, this person used flip cuff. Uh, looks like a lot of vintage gear, which is awesome. It's uh, there's Dave Ramsey's financial piece. <laughs> Gotta love it. Every one of these financial things. Or Tony Robbins, or all these like nonfiction motivational things seem to do well. Yeah. Um, do you use VTG Vintage ever, or do you use the word Vintage? No, I was just watching one of your videos that you did like this, and I had no idea that typing in VTG and L slash S is still searchable if somebody types in long sleeve or Vintage. Yeah. So pull it up. I've been fully spelling it out this whole time, and now I'm not going to. I'm going to save so much room and add more keywords. And then here we have gender first, men's Ellen Edmonds shoes. I don't like that. You don't like that? Me, I, um, <laughs> go ahead. I always do brand first. Yeah, and I think the um, it's pretty standard to go um, brand, gender, type. Yep. But um, not, not, I mean, people do it their different ways, but I think it's pretty universal that brand is first. Like right here on that go ahead. Hermes tie. Right. I don't even think you need to have men's in the title. It's a tie. You could add another keyword. Let's go in the search bar here and type in Hermes. See, there's no Hermes men's tie, right? It's just Hermes tie. Of course. Right? Well, nobody would want to search. Everybody knows ties are for men's, and right there, men's accessories. And if you type in men's, it does pull up, you know, men's ties does also show up. But it also shows up men's ties. Yeah. You can see the next search term basically is silk or new. Where, if you put new, where do you put it in the title? New is always at the end for me. Man, that's so interesting that it's popping up as the very first thing here. If, yeah, that's, if, that's we, if, if we go men's ties, it's like people don't search beyond or men's, men's ties. Yeah, um, I just want to pull up something interesting, guys. We're just gonna, I just literally entered that search in to see what pops up first. So you can see here, um, mm -hmm. Hermes. I can't believe 100% off is the second one. <laughs> those words, neither of those are searchable. Yeah, that's so odd. Um, but it, it looks like a lot of people put 100% silk versus just silk. In the yeah, title. I actually put 100% silk. So 100% isn't searchable or? Uh, um, do people do that? 100% silk. Let's see how many listings there are. There's 2,800 listings 
if we do just silk 750 but the, about the same so a hundred percent is not adding how come uh, more show up when you have a hundred percent than just silk that wouldn't make sense doesn't ebay you crazy maybe okay because maybe there's a few that are, well no that wouldn't make sense that's weird i don't i don't understand that i don't understand that either so i'm going to try something interesting here there's a chat there's a comment that talks about new with tags i have never one time used this term have you always yeah is it in your title yeah have you do you use it when you search when i search no okay i'm just going to use it while as a customer so we see now new look at there's no new nwt is oh, yeah. not in any of these Oh, there it is. Whenever, the fourth I'm search, one. whenever I'm searching for something new, I just click the new checkbox on the left side. Gotcha. See how interesting there's two that are used that have NWT in there. What do these look like? Yeah, right. What? Correctly. New. It's a brand new unused. Used, used. right after. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I mean, if you're using every single keyword, I guess you show up in both categories. Yeah. But <laughs> that's, that's not. Nice. That's not recommended. Don't do that. Um, Hermes men's ties, 100% authentic is showing up. So people do use silk and 100%. Looks like not getting you a higher rank though. It's pretty much the same. Huh? That's really interesting. That I, that's very interesting. Um, mint shows up number seven, even though no one is searching mint. No, and that picture that picture is horrible. They're cutting off the tip. They're cutting off the left side. How come that's showing up so high is beyond and, me. And this is also interesting, guys. Look, none of these have a pure white background. Here's one. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the 14th search ranking, and it's perfectly white. Now, it does pop. Two photos look, look way better. better than all the rest. They look so good. But, like, this one looks okay, too, but you can see the difference between pure white and just white when people say they have a white background i don't think this is a white background no it's a gray background it's gray yeah versus this this seller i wonder if this is the same seller right here yeah, it looks good. like the same it's not though because of the um the motion is different four ties wow i really getting you um, wow this is so interesting Interesting to look at the way it pops up because if you look at the first eight, none of them have a white background. In these three, you can't even see the tie. <laughs> Focus on the brand. And, okay, Wait, real. Go ahead. No, no, I was, I was gonna say. I mean, it makes sense for such a high-end brand to focus on the brand, so you can tell it's authentic. Right. But still, I mean, most people want to see the the front of the tie for the first photo. I don't think they'll click through to check the brand photo first, I believe, uh, afterwards, I believe. And look at this one. The apostrophe is in the wrong. There's not even an apostrophe in, in Hermes, right? <laughs> but here's the thing. Apostrophes are basically ignored by Cassini. Because you and can why see that here. one show up first? Yeah. The very so first. That shows up first. And it's probably because the auction is ending soonest. Okay. Um, but still, you can see, even if you screw up men's versus apostrophe or not, it still shows up, or um, Thrifty Boss Babe is in the chat and says newly edited sometimes shows up earlier. But you and I both search by lowest first. Yeah, always. So we have here, um, wow, you can get an Hermes type for 750 free shipping. Kind of an ugly one. but um, No, that's Bordeaux polyester. That's not even Hermes. Why does that show up? I have no clue. The, uh, it's probably in their description, like oh, Hermes, wow. or similar to Hermes. Uh, oh, I put the yeah. This is see. You can straight up. You can straight up buy this from this person, and then say I thought it was Hermes, and they would be. They would have to pay for return shipping. Yeah, they. I mean, if <laughs> you could be a jerk like that, you could I be mean, a jerk like that. But I, I have noticed that's happened to me. Whenever I do a listing and there's a mistake, I, I feel like there are some buyers that are taking advantage of that. Oh, you. Yeah. They're trying to get a little bit of a discount they're, they're or trying to get a discount or they're going to say, oh, don't worry about it. Just keep it because like, you're going to pay return shipping on this, which is $2.77. Mm -hmm. 
and you already paid 277 to get it there yeah this person wouldn't ask for it back so get your act together ml green this is not an hermes tie so also that's interesting that you don't if as long as it's in the item specifics it's going to show up yeah even without putting it in the title he has more than one tie on this search if you scroll down a little bit he has those two middle ones i believe also that say bordeaux Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. He's screwing himself over. He's shooting himself in the foot. Over. Somebody after watching this video is going to order these three ties on three different days and then get three free ties. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's see. I like this one. It's these kind of pictures that look fine. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, and again, there is a lot of pure white background. This one's probably. That one's good. That I mean, good. Um, not bad. It, it is interesting. Guys, it, it looks like it's not like Amazon where everything is uniform. Everything is hodgepodge. This must be the same seller that's mm -hmm. dominating these results. I mean, they, they actually don't look that bad when they're all like that in a block because you could see all the designs very easily. This is and pretty good. Yeah, if you're going through someone's actual shop, this would look really good in uniform. I would actually like that. I'm going to click on sold now and see what kinds of things actually sold, guys. Take a look real quick. Um, let's search by recent and see what. There's a nice Hermes penguin tie that sold for seven fifty free shipping. That wow. Was, it was a nice tie. You could have sniped that and sold that for some good money. Which uh, this this guy? Yeah, that second one. It looks really nice. Hmm. Wow, owls. Oh, it's owls. I thought it was penguins. Okay. No worries. Oh, but there's this person... stains. there's stains. That makes sense. Oh, there's stains. I mean, that's pretty crazy that someone will still buy a tie with stains. That is true. And look how... Um, that's a horrible looking tie, actually. Look how accurate this listing is. Yeah. Right? They, they're doing a close-up, not of the tie, but of the stain. Mm -hmm. And you can see, guys, if you... And this person probably has great feedback. Pretty good feedback. Um, but that's... That's really accurate. Average condition has several stains as seen in pictures. I probably wouldn't use the word average. I mean, that's <laughs> that's good. They're not trying to hide anything. I actually love when I see that because I, I hate when people try and hide the stains or not show a certain part of the shirt. It's like you're just asking for a return. Definitely. Here we have 10% um, charity also, which is which is a nice little touch. Now, do you ever look for that? Do you no, ever I never possibly search by it. somebody that or no? Mm -mm. This is this is an interesting photo. Of this person. I mean, really good lighting. I don't know why they do it with the books. Is it to make them more sophisticated? <laughs> I think so. I actually like it. I actually don't mind this. <laughs> it looks nice. It's like a library. It's like a library, and they're really good at being accurate. Mm-hmm. These photos are very accurate. All the flaws they're pointing out. Like most sellers would skip this picture because they don't want to represent the item like this. Yeah. You can see every little nick and sweat stain on this pair of shoes. Yeah, you but can. But probably not going to get a return because of it. And it already has a bid, so he's selling it for forty dollars. He's, he's selling it. Um, we got uh, great feedback. So yeah. let's move on to the next store. Here we have Sawgrass. Sawgrass store 407. This is the hanger method. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Probably a random assortment. I don't know if those would be. Uh, so wait, when you go to somebody's store, is there a way that you search? Yeah, okay. So if I'm just, you know, spying on people's stores or because I see something interesting, I want to see the other things. I always do lowest to highest and then highest to lowest. Oh, all right. Let's, let's try that. Lowest to highest. So I don't really care about what's in the middle. So we got some some stuff that they're probably blowing out. A dollar four ninety nine. And I, yeah. I actually type a lot of clothing on eBay to resell. I've done that with Tommy Bahamas lots of times. I find I sort by best offer and I do lowest and I just start shooting out offers like crazy and then throwing them back up on eBay. I would say these all caps titles definitely hurt you. Oh, they're bad. They're bad. I would I would say I mean and a lot of people from eBay open and I think it's pretty much known that all caps reduces your search ranking. Um, I think these pictures are too dark. That Tommy Hilfinger down below is nice uh, with the white background, 
right there. That, that's yep. not bad. It's not bad. And same thing with that polo. How how many uh, how much feedback does this person have? How new are they? One ninety two. That's not bad. I mean, I, my beginning photos when you don't have a I don't I still don't have a light set up. But I mean, I remember my photos kind of look like this, and my I had horrible sales because of it. All they need to do is add a little bit more lighting, and they'll start selling these. I mean, they wouldn't have to lower the price to five dollars for a shirt. Here we have a damaged category. I've never seen that before. Huh. And see, if it's damaged, you should put the damage in the item description. Because now I have yeah. to scroll all the way down to read it. Uh, there's a sizable dark spot. This this all cap sounds like you're yelling, bro. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. So at the bottom right of the shirt, so scroll up because I actually don't even notice it because of how many shadows there are. I can't see. See, now here's the thing. If they had a little bit better lighting, and you, uh, well, that's easy. Oh, there we go. Now we can – still we can't really see. It looks like a shadow. It looks like a shadow. That's a stain, and that, that's, that makes it difficult. And it's super wrinkled. This, is, this would be a tough sale. I, think. I don't think it will. I don't think it will sell. And it's also $9. You should sh – I don't know if I would buy this shirt for $4 shipped. No, I, I, I would, wouldn't buy it at all. Two dollars at a thrift store. I really wouldn't. That's true. You might not pay a dollar at a thrift store. Nope. Wow. So it might be worth it, guys. If you have items like this, to just re-donate it because it's taking up one of your free listings for the month. Or he has two of them, same brand, same size. Lot them up, throw them up for nine dollars. True. Lot them up, and I bet you if you did a, a penny auction plus shipping, somebody would. Um, somebody would would buy um i like taking the, the effort to really look at it um see photos for exact color they'd be careful with that because um shirts are different depending on people's um people's monitors people's phones their brightness and also would, the photos don't really show exact colors because there's too much too many shadows there that's the light true. yeah these aren't yeah so lots of improvements and the biggest one would be just getting rid of caps on that what one he still has 100% positive feedback, which, hey, that's good. And also a very new seller, all 20 feedback in the last month. So uh, great, great job getting started. This is a brand new account. Oh, then you know what? Maybe we're being a little too harsh on it because if it is that brand new, then that's pretty – that's not bad. You know, I mean, it's still no, there's it's not. to be made. but And putting 166 items, that's 100 – probably 200 items up in a month is very that's impressive. Crazy. That's very impressive. Great job. So, um, and I like the contrast on the black. This looks good. This looks like two ties almost. It does look like two ties. Um, well, not bad. Not bad. All good. Some some free. Some charging for shipping. Yeah, I would experiment um, with both guys if you're going to be selling on eBay. Might as well try both. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, let me read this this thing real quick. Even though I, I hate these little blurb things I in hate there, them. when the like I want bullet points. This is so hard to read. Um, smoke free home, buy with confidence. Let's see. None of this is really important. Now, what do you put in your description when you're describing a shirt or let let's say a tie? Do you sell ties? I I don't sell any ties. Let me see if I even have a um, description. I don't. I don't have anything. Really? I have nothing. Just the, literally the measurements. That's, that you put that's in prior to mine. I have, uh, I'll always put, um, this shirt has no stains, no holes, or something like that, and then I'll just put the measurements. So you have a little bit of a blurb. So you well, just do a little bit more description. That's before I was even doing measurements. I didn't even start doing measurements until about two months ago. Hmm. Well... You were still selling things, right? So yeah, well, all you have to do is just get it up. You know, I've I've had more returns since doing measurements, actually, which is odd. Really? Yeah. Well, here we go. We have um, she's she's always flipping. I don't know if I would let I would have a name that says that I'm a reseller. Yeah. Because um, I feel like it, it would be the equivalent of being like, you know, Jesse's thrift store makes your items look a little cheap mm -hmm. but
but this person sells a lot, 200 feedback a month, 2,000 this year. Wow. Uh, that's a lot of volume. How are the prices? Let's see. 542, this is in the UK. Oh wow, they do CDs, single CDs. I single have CDs. Yeah, never right. seen I sell single CDs on eBay. Anybody Let's I know see. anyway, I've, I've seen them on eBay, but I wonder how well that does. We have mannequin, both female and male mannequins, I think. Yeah. Single CDs, also flat lay. Um, different. Pretty, they have two two mannequins here. Do you sell women's clothing or no? I do, but I still flat lay it. Okay. Um, this is very unique looking with the with this like wooden background, but I do think like seeing the ground behind there is a little distracting. That's either a door or a dresser. It's a dresser. It's, it's a dresser. Um, yeah. So this is on the ground, and. Yeah. This only wore twice is like ridiculous. How do we know that? Exactly. That's so subjective. I'm going to buy this and say it looks like it was worn three times. Get a return. Now, <laughs> I, I don't like how you can – I mean, there's really – because I do like the photo from a little bit higher. It's really emphasizing on the design on the chest. I like mm. that. But I don't like how you can see the floor. It looks like it's in a garage. True. You can also see this person's thumb. How do you feel about that? I don't like that. I always cut my fingers out whenever I'm holding anything. I think it looks a little, a little unprofessional. Um, let's see. I've never seen this before. Registered as a business seller. Really? Have you seen that? I mean, this is obviously from the UK. Maybe they have different rules. I've never really looked for it, but I, I've never noticed. I've never it. seen that terminology ever. So mm -hmm. interesting. eBay, you, you, everything is different everywhere. Business seller information. Wow, it's their address. That's really that's so different than out yeah, here. Weird. Here you can say you can put the location as like Jesse Land, USA. You don't have to put the city. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, this store it sells a lot of things. Let's look at sold. Because um, only you know a quarter of people leave feedback. Um, Jesse, did you see my show or when we refresh this, it'll change? So it says 311. I wonder if it'll change on this store. Sometimes it toggles between 60 and 90 days. Looks like it's pretty consistent at 311 here. Really? Okay. I, di I didn't see that. I have, I've never noticed that. Yeah, it'll toggle um, based on, yeah, see, 331 to 200. Whoa, why? I, I don't know why it does that. But so 200 is 60 days and 330 is 90 days. So be careful, guys, when you are searching somebody's completed to get an idea of their volume because it's, it's not always I'm, – I'm way too lazy to go count or look at the dates. Yeah. So, like, this is all subjective. Like, whatever this number is is not how many items they're actually selling. It's just whatever eBay is showing you. Whenever I'm looking at somebody's solds, I always like to look at end date recent first. Okay. Let's see. Um. To just to see how many they're selling a day. Oh, that's a great point. 18, 18, 18, 18, 4, 5, 5. 5 with 500 listed. That's about it's right on the money. That's good, yeah. That's good. So great sell-through rate. And obviously, this person has 500 listings and 213 feedback in the last month. That's a crazy sell-through rate. That's good. And I noticed the prices actually aren't bad. All the things that sold that day were right around $20. Mm-hmm. It's the majority bad. of stuff is twenty dollars and under. Let's look at uh, Glitz and Beyond. What do you think so far? Nice, nice profile picture. Yeah, um, yeah, it looks good. Uh, this is what I would consider a white background. Um, See, it looks good for those bright colors, but that one with that white middle—I don't know if it's almost. No, right? It's kind of hard to see. Yeah. Uh, bidding has ended. Oh, it must be nine. Four ninety nine free shipping is pretty slim, but that's okay. Maybe just getting started or blowing it out. Uh, I don't think it's sold even. Oh, it didn't sell. Good point. Yeah. Top rated. Mm-hmm. One hundred and eighty six items for sale. Actually, they're pretty new because I noticed they had ninety eight total feedback and ninety two within the past uh, what two months, six months. So. Right. Good point. Um. 
So those photos are really good for a new seller. Photos are really good. Uh, I think a lot of people are. How do you feel about the little item in the background? That's very Nicole State also. I know. I, it's, I'm so conflicted. I do like it. it. It honestly drew my eyes to that picture right away when you scrolled by it. Right. Um, I like it. It's kind of unnecessary, but I kind of like it. I don't know. This, this background also drew my attention right away. Um, yeah. Let's see. And we have ones without it. Why is that cut like that? Is that the shape? It might be the shame. I don't. I don't mess like, with women's man, clothing. Man, that's crazy. What girl? What, somebody in the chat explain why you'd want this aggressive of a V in your shirt. It's very confusing as a man. Let's see. <laughs> we have great. I mean, the photos are great. The really photos are great. I think this kind of stuff looks a little bit harsh. Like it doesn't look as natural to me when the lights are this bright. Um, and you can see here. This is interesting. The camera's a little wonky. You can see how. These look weird on a monitor sometimes. Stripes do. Yeah, all, all my uh, striped polos always look horrible whenever I take photos of them when, the, when it's really bright. I like to take the photos um, separately and then upload them, especially on Stripe. Because if you take them in the eBay app, it's going to be really wonky. Um, good photos. I like the hanger. Lindy Glenn and I talked about how clothes pins look Look mm -hmm. really cool. Um, let's see. Here's more prop. The prop's got a shadow that's over the item. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I like the prop though. Each time you scroll by one, I I look I know, at them. Immediately oh, click on it. So I mean, stuff like distracting. Really there we go. The pineapple again. It's festive. It makes me want to click. I'm okay with the with with, with the. I don't know, what is that? Is it just kind of laying over a pineapple dish or something? Or Yeah, it's a pineapple dish, a little poking out. And also, I wonder if it says in here, pineapple not included. See? What you, you, see, guys, you can order this and say, I thought it had the, came with the pineapple, and yeah. eBay would side with you as the buyer. That's true. Because it's in the picture. So, like, if you're going to have the pineapple, say pineapple not included. Because I had that. Like somebody said, this these French cuffs don't work without the French without the cufflinks that are in the picture, and I'm like, they don't come with the cufflinks. <laughs> but they said they said the shirt. This is what they put. It does not work. Not that it was defective. Well, then you can kind of uh, even you could kind of fight that now. It, it was just like, just just put in here that the the props don't come with it. If you're gonna use props, because people will call you on it. <laughs> Um, title wise, where do you put size? Um, you know, it, it's kind of random, but I, I kind of put it either in the middle or the third thing. Um, you know, I'll do brand and then I'll do, I guess, gender and then size, usually third. Okay. So let's try one. Here we have, um, Ro Rose and Olive Women's. So let's try this. Rose and olive, women. Uh, so, see, it's interesting. If rose and olive is only a women's brand, when you type in women's, it doesn't. It, the autocomplete goes away, right? Yeah, because it wouldn't make sense. I mean, who would who would type in? No dudes for this? rose and olive, right? Hmm. No dudes looking for that. No, none. So if you click it in, it's already around. Let me let's go to the regular website because I want to see. What pops up size wise first? So eBay is going to ask you to decide on the size. So as a shopper, you'd come in here, you probably click medium, and it's going to populate all the mediums. And look, almost every single one says women's in it. Yeah, they say women's in it, but no one, I don't think you would need to search for it. Here's, here's what, ladies. What about ladies? I was to say that. What would you? I, I don't really know why someone I don't know. There's think, ladies, there's women's, there's girls. Um, see, with men's, it's easy. You, it's men's, it's easy. Men's. Yeah, I've never seen male used in the title. No. But I, I wonder if eBay's algorithm picks all that up and, and does it. And you can see and and the ampersand. People will put both kinds. Hmm. Uh, rose and olive, black and white. You could just put rose, olive, black, white. It'd probably pull up the same thing. Yeah. Um, 
that is, that is interesting. But it looks like the size is, is everywhere. This one doesn't even put what size. This one has it in the middle. This one has it towards the end. Everybody, I mean, everybody does it different. Everyone does it different. eBay is just a hodgepodge. The more I do this, the more I realize, like, every single person does it differently. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that's what's great about it because everybody has a different technique and it works for some people. I mean, I, I haven't really noticed a difference between photos, uh, between the style of photo I do. As long as the picture looks good, it sells. I, I don't know. Okay, let's check out um, Jason Corp Important Things. That's a really <laughs> corporate name, my friend. So yeah. Honolulu Base Seller. Um, great deals, electronics added. Okay, cool. Um, marijuana drug test. Marijuana drug test. Thong. Nice. We've got thongs and marijuana drug tests. I like this store. I love this store. So why is it cropped the opposite direction? I'm not, you rarely see photos cropped this way. Usually yes, it's the, the sides. It's almost like this person is taking a photo landscape with their phone. Yeah, probably. Huh. Interesting. I would say don't do that. Looks kind of weird. What do you think? Yeah, no. I Like yeah. if these pictures, I would prefer this one. This cooking mama one is more normal looking to me as a buyer. And also, I mean, this, this seller should get closer to his, his items. He's a little far away from them. Like True. that mama, he could pretty much get that thing to take up the whole space easily. Right, and this is a good point. Look at how 65% of this is nothing. Mm -hmm. It's like literally 10% of the photo is the tie. Yeah, get closer to that tie. Um, there, tie there, there's right. a good tie. The green one down there, he's getting closer. This is close, but then it, there's also, look at, it's like a half of the picture is not being used. It's cropped really small. Yeah. Um, because not only is it taken, it's also cropped even more. So, um, Crazy croppage because I think that see how much more like this Batman picture takes up almost the entire picture. Yeah, it's just so much easier to see. See now, I'm curious. We're still searching from lowest to highest. Should we be searching people's stores uh, newest listed just to see how they're they've evolved possibly? Sure. This picture is super dark for a hundred bucks. It's hard to see. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's yeah. This is a horrible picture. Sorry, guys. Uh, but like, I I can see your desk in the background. the The table's not clean. Oh yeah, that's not good. You're asking me to pay a hundred bucks. Hmm. I don't know. It's I mean, so distracting that having was all this. A better stuff. photo. That could have been his first photo. The one right before that. Oops. One. I opened the iBook. Sorry, guys. Uh -oh. <laughs> Um, which photo? I mean, that's that one. Uh, the two on the side. I mean, that's all. Now nah, they're they're all not that good. Never mind. Yeah, don't have a. This is so distracting. It's so just make it easy for us to buy from you. Um, a little bit dark. I like the mannequin. Like the video game. Yeah, again, yeah. try to think of as much of the square as you can. Like, look how much more of the shoe we can see. Mm -hmm. uh, let's take a look at the feedback. Quite a bit of feedback, 290. 100%. A lot of it in the last six months. Yep. So, newer seller, most likely. Um, great. Let's see. 300, 223 feedback as a seller. Pretty good. Now let let's view an item that somebody bought that's kind of expensive. Okay, How about let's that look. Bruno Magelli leather Bruno shoe. Bruno Molly, let's check it out. Molly Magelli, yeah, Molly. Magelli okay. Molly. The same. It's the same picture. Yeah, it's the same. That's actually you don't even see the front of the shoe, but I mean, this is better because at least I don't see your computer, and, and the table is at least wiped off. See, these are better photos. I could see this selling, and it did. It did sell, and these are these are much better. This is this photo is fine. Yep. Um, it it definitely works. Bruno Mali is a is a great brand, guys. Uh, fifty bucks. This is purely brand, not presentation, though. Because if you're selling a fifty dollar pair, uh, it sold for fifty, or it sold for eighty. It best offer accepted. Yeah, fifty. So um.
So it, it, whatever the who knows what the best offer was, but I miss uh, how they let you uh, take a look at that. Let's see. Here we have a Bose Sound Deck. Craigslist Hunter just sold one of these. Oh yeah. For a lot, a little bit more. Well, this is an older version. But yeah, if you guys have all the cables and stuff, it's good to take a picture of that. I like that. Yeah, those aren't bad photos. I this like this. It's fun. It has everything that comes with it. That's good. Looks good. So we go to the next person. Alyssa Sophia Fashion. Nice. I like it. I like it. Here we have Made in USA. If something's made in the USA, what do you do? Uh, I, I say Made in USA, or I just put USA in the title. Me too, just USA. Uh, vintage, Toby. This store looks good. We've got a lot of. Um, I like it. You can see all the different. You could see the the evolution, sort of all the different. The evolution for sure. Let's see, newly listed. Looks like they're switching to the white background. Yeah, it looks nice. Um, that pops really nice. Um, I don't mind the wood. See how it just looks so nice with the space around it. Mm -hmm. um, this store looks good. I like it, yeah. Um, great feedback. Um, 269. So everyone looks like they're ramping up and getting ready to sell a lot of stuff. 436 feedback. Not your daughter's jeans. 9 plus 650 for shipping. That's an interesting way, just showing the top half. I don't mind it, but I think I would show the back. I would yeah. do the butt shot. I would have, did, have done this picture as the profile picture. But yeah, either, no. e either way. Um, I, I personally don't like the W or the check. E either of these. I would prefer a full laid out one, but this is another Nicole State fuzzy carpet picture. Yeah, it is. I, I noticed a lot of sellers have been using her fuzzy carpet style. Yeah, her fuzzy carpet style. And she's gone away from it, but... Um, oh, has she? Yep. Now she's doing full mannequin. So okay. we got Die Gals Rack. Looks like there's some new with tags here. Oh, they're using all stock photos. Stock photos. Wow. See, I wonder this, looks, this looks like a store. You know what I mean? Like, there's no... This is homegrown. But like yeah. this is this is a this is looks like a, this is extremely professional. Those home photos I actually really like. They're really good. Yeah. Um, this is this is all these photos are Instagrammable, guys. Look at that. Perfectly yeah, that, square. I like those better than the um, uh, the stock photos. I honestly don't really like stock photos on eBay so much because you don't know the exact item you're getting. Yeah, these photos are are fantastic. Got the succulent in the background. They, their, their fingers aren't in any of the pictures. This is a pro store, guys. You guys may want to follow Daigal's Rack. Um, 2,000 feedback, 100% positive. Not even a neutral. Yeah, she's good. Great seller. So um, I really like that store a lot. looks like a store. It looks professional. Adding a couple of stock photos in your store, I think it brings up your whole store's vibe. Because mm -hmm. it just looks like, whoa, they... Um, Looks like an actual store. Looks like an actual store. So, like, very interesting. Any or something? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. We got Brooks Party. You guys, we're very almost done. We're gonna go a little quicker towards the end. Uh, looks like some stock photos. A lot of hard goods. Uh, how do you feel about the mannequin? That's just a part picture. I don't like it. Yeah, me either. I like the full look. Like that look. I'd prefer this as the profile. That would have, and look, you can even see the logo in their main photo. Yeah, that's true. I've never done that. I've never seen the side picture. That's, <laughs> that's actually interesting as a dude. I can kind of see what that would look like on me. I like that idea. I do. I have never seen the side picture. Or I mean, oh, at least I haven't noticed it. So this person's using the mannequin. They looks like they just started six feedback on the last month great job using the mannequin wow. to begin with that's impressive i mean yeah that's their pictures are amazing they're gonna do really well they're taking a lot of attention to detail when they just started i like it a lot yeah. um titles look good the only thing we don't like the all caps for the title but some people do do that let's move on to the next one a couple more minutes guys uh, be respectful of jesse's time let's see 
fashion rewear. Top rated seller, 700 feedback this year, good volume. Fashion rewear is good. I do think that that name makes you sound like you, you thrifted it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Um, oh, I hate that. The waist size in the photo. At least not this way, the way they yeah, did not it. Not that way. Maybe if you way. added it in, um, like I see people do that on Instagram, how they'll put like little emoji or whatever. If you put actual text that's edited on, that would look a lot better. And none of those have sold recently. Well, yeah, I don't there. like it. There's one right here. Waste 45. Huh. That one looks better. That one looks a little this bit looks, nice. This one looks better. I can't tell at all what the jeans look like. Yeah. Uh, which which bothers me because you, you, you're competing with all those other um, listings that they know exactly what it looks like. They need to pay more attention to the jeans and not so much the – I mean, somebody's looking up the waist size already and it's in your title. You don't need it in your photo. Oh, they also have the, the picture in it. See, this would prevent returns possibly. I, in, I, don't, I don't like this, but um, if this is your last picture maybe, it would be that'd okay. Be That'd be a great last picture. Just ah, uh, yeah. I just can't tell what the um, thing is, and I think this writing looks really cartoony, which is fine. But like, maybe they're eight, maybe they're um, they have a really young child that did the pictures, because that would be cute. Yeah, I guess. But this is like a this is a career woman's jeans. I don't know. If she, she might appreciate it. I don't know. This store looks okay. I, we just don't like the all caps in the title. Seven nineteen for shipping. Um, that's normal. I'd say that's pretty average for jeans. They obviously know what they're doing. They have some higher end items. I hope this is not a stolen photo from someone who tagged it. Oh, you know what I mean? It definitely it, looks like it is. Yeah. So don't steal other people's pictures. At least like go to put, Google and find them without <laughs> a watermark. Don't don't steal watermarked photos if you're going to steal photos. It makes you look very bad. Um, Let's see. Okay. And again, looks like everyone um, everyone works with free shipping on items that are maybe more popular mm -hmm. versus you know, like charge for shipping for you know more rare pre-owned items. It seems like people are mixing it up. There's no right way, guys. You can do it however. I just incorporate the shipping right into my total cost usually. Um, so I'm actually going to do one more store. We'll do these these last three. Um, Speed last. run. I, I want to do um, – I want to do Scavenger Life. So all yeah. of you guys are still in the chat. Let's take a look at Scavenger Life store. Um, it's going to be pretty cool to see. Um, so they have a thousand feedback. So you know, thousands of things sold a year. Let's take a look at this really quick. Um, Fifty-eight hundred oh items. How many? Wow, fifty-eight hundred. It's a lot. And they price on the high end. The Everything is long tail. So wait, real quick, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do sold and check out the 269 is not very many. We're talking that's the lowest oh and 290 or 390. So 260 and 390. So they sell 130 items a month based on this, you know, what we can see. Well, I do know that they're mostly doing very obscure items and they price high. And this is them. Yep. So here we got a hundred and seventy dollar Raiders jacket that she is rocking. Looks so, good. Ryan looking awesome. Uh, we've got flatware, banknotes. I mean, their photos are awesome. They look they, really. Good. They look really good. They use the full square. They are the. Um, um, they are the obscure kings. Yeah, they sell a lot of obscure things. And all of these items are like 50 cents, a dollar. When you listen to their podcast, they're getting this stuff for like super, super, super cheap. They don't really uh, pay up for anything. They don't pay much. But they will pay up. They, they sort yeah. of um, started to do that more. Um, here they're selling books, suspenders. Um, they put solid brass in the title. That must be the metal work that's on it. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, the space around... Look at the space around the shoe. It makes it pop really well. Mm -hmm. And they're using VTG. Um, yeah, they are. Okay. Here they have worn. 
Uh, actually, uh, one more comment. They put the size at the very end. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, 50s. I like to put what decade it is. I made a mistake on my Apple shoes. But um, everyone loves Scavenger Life. If you guys haven't checked out their podcast, go take a look. No, it's great. I love whenever a new one's posted. Every yeah. Sunday night, I believe. Yep. Um, here's some playing cards they bought for a quarter and sold for 150 oh. Guys, there's some monster, monster sales available. Vintage cards. I don't know how long at the wait, but they sell. Um, and they sell a lot of um, mid-century stuff. I actually really want to get into to buying and flipping really weird, obscure things. I mean, I don't really have the space for it, but it's so much more fun. It's so fun. Yeah, you know, they're really having a blast selling this. But here they sold a bunch of slides. Um, vintage Gillette. Wow. That thing's cool. Very, very cool. Um, let me pull up our thing. And we are at the hour, guys. Um, so I want to be respectful of Jesse's time. Jesse, why don't you tell everybody? Um, actually, let's take you want to take a couple questions? Yeah, sure. Let's, let's see if we can find one or two questions, and then um, I'll let you tell people where you can find them. If you guys have any questions right now in the chat, go ahead and throw them in there. And um, while we're getting a couple of questions, why don't you tell people where they can find you? And of course, the description, er, the link is in the description as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, the link is right there in the description, which is awesome. But if you're just listening to it, you can look me right up on YouTube at Thrift School and over on Instagram at Thrift School. Those are pretty much my main two things. I do have a Facebook page. I don't really use it. So if you search Thrift School on Facebook and you find me, don't expect a response. Um, but on YouTube, definitely, I, I almost respond to every single comment that comes through. So we just have, almost, I'll, I'll let you take this last question and we'll call it a night, which is, what's your next big move? It's a pretty generic question, open-ended. Who, me? Yeah. I'm actually working, okay, so there's two things. And one's kind of funny because I literally was looking up tips and tricks on how to flip cars last night and one of your videos popped up. I was like, what? And so I clicked on it and I watched it like two o'clock in the morning while I was laying on the couch. And it was like a whole five tips on how to flip a car and buy it and do all this stuff. And um, I was supposed to meet somebody today that I blew off, which isn't a good start. But um, that, that was just something little. But one of the main things that I have been working on is building up a little bit of a brand. A lot of people know this, but some don't. I sell on Amazon merch. So I sell custom made t-shirts. So I've been working on a brand, creating an Instagram account for it, a Facebook, building up my followers there, and I've been creating some shirts. I want to open up a uh, Spotify, not a Spotify, oh my gosh, Shopify store, and um, start to run my own sort of thing, just in case Amazon shuts me down. Who knows? I have to ask this question. What time did Big Bird let you go? What? I don't know what that means. What time did Big Bird let me go? Oh, um... The Big Bird, yeah. I uh, On my YouTube channel today, I did a live stream, if you guys want to check that out, inside of a Goodwill, walking around, sourcing live. And uh, I found a Big Bird on the bottom shelf, and I was smashing its head into the ground to make it make noises, <laughs> and it looked like I was choking it and hitting him against the ground. And uh, he wasn't worth anything, guys, so I threw him back on the shelf. So, yeah. Crazy. Guys, thrifting is really fun. I think that it's cool that even Jesse, who's focusing a little bit more on Amazon, still thrifts and looks for good stuff. It's always fun. I think everyone should have a, at least a little eBay store, a couple hundred items, just to keep life interesting. Um, you could make it in your entire life, like Ryan Scavenger Life, and have thousands and thousands of cool items, or just a few that you pick up here and there from the thrift. Mm -hmm. But everyone, thanks again for stopping by. And make sure to check out Jesse on his channel. If he wants me to come over there for any show, I will as well. Oh, yeah. We'll, we'll get one in the works. Sounds good. Good night, everybody. Good night, guys.